Today's parable will be the parable of the hidden treasure. So I'm going to read from Matthew 13, verse 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. So if you think about who is represented in that parable, God is the one who buys the field and the field is all of the earth. And the treasure hidden in the field is us. He buys that entire field so that he can have us. And that is what Jesus came to the earth to do for us is he came for legal redemption to pay the justice of a holy and just God. So he paid it all on our behalf. He came to redeem us and claim us as his own, as his own special treasure, his own special people. We, the believers, the people that believe in Jesus Christ and accept the gift of his salvation freely given for us. And today's video is about being more than an overcomer. And this actually comes from the verse Romans 8 37 that says, nay, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So Jesus loves us and came to the earth as the word made flesh to die for us. And he did it because of God's grace. So how can we be more than an overcomer? It's one thing to be an overcomer, but how about being more than an overcomer? So if you think about it, the way that this was set up, the way that was prophesied in the Old Testament and came to fruition when Jesus came to the earth was that Jesus came to become our conqueror, to, to conquer over sin and the grave and later on, he's going to come again to conquer over death once and for all. But when Jesus came and died on the cross, he was the overcomer. He was the conqueror. He came off of the, the cross and he went into the depths of hell and came back in his hand with the keys to the grave. He conquered death and on the third day he rose again. So he was the conqueror. He was the overcomer. He was the one that overcame sin and the grave and rose from the dead. So Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And the way to receive that is to believe in him. And when you believe in him, then you become more than an overcomer. Why? Because you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to go down into hell and preach the gospel and bring up the people and, and raise from the dead. You didn't have to do it, he did it. And then he comes and he just walks over and gives you the keys. That's how we are more than an overcomer. We didn't have to do it. We just had to freely receive the gift he gave for us. I'm going to read a scripture here that it talks about how our identity is formed in Christ. And it's from the book of Romans. And the book of Romans in the Bible is the book of righteousness. It explains all about our identity in Christ, righteousness, how we receive righteousness through Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read Romans 1, 1 to 7, and then I'm gonna read Romans 1, 16, 17. And this is today's Bible verse. This letter is from Paul, a slave of Jesus Christ, chosen by God to be an apostle and sent out to preach his good news. God promised this good news long ago through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The good news is about his son. In his earthly life, he was born into King David's family line and he was shown to be the Son of God when he was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ, God has given us the privilege and authority as apostles 
to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them so that they will believe and obey him, bringing glory to his name. And you are included among those Gentiles who have been called to belong to Jesus Christ. I am writing to all of you in Rome who are loved by God and are called to be his own holy people. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. So that's the first half of Romans, the first few verses in Romans. And now I'm gonna read from Romans 1, 16 and 17. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jew first and also the Gentile. This good news tells us how God made us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. So when you think about this verse, it also just once again talks about how Jesus came to the earth and how God received Jesus' perfect sacrifice. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. He gives us his perfect righteousness. And when we identify with the perfect righteousness of Jesus Christ, and when we accept that perfect righteousness into our spirit, our spirit becomes 100% identical to the spirit of Jesus Christ. That's how we have the same spirit of Jesus Christ. That's how we become more than an overcomer. So let me know in the comments below if you have any future questions or comments and I'll see you in the next one.